Okay. So the commission on presidential debates should not reduce the participation threshold from 15% to 5% in national polling for participation in general election debates. The position that we are taking for this debate is to not lower the participation in general election debates to 5% in national polling. I will win this debate by proving that you will not have an efficient election process by lowering the participation rate to 5%. Participation threshold is a term that needs to be defined. Participation threshold is the minimum share of the vote which a political party requires to secure any representation. So 5% of popular vote isn't sufficient enough to be qualified as a president since, I mean, to be qualified as a presidential campaign, I mean, as a candidate, as presidential candidate, because if someone is really worth being president, they should just get a majority of vote. If a president cannot get a majority of votes, is a person really worth to um, becoming a president? A president is someone that should be able to lead everyone not just 5% of the population. Therefore, 5% would be an ineffective percentage to obtain candidacy because the candidate wouldn't represent the majority of the population of America. You need to be able to not just lead 5%, you need to be able to lead more than 5%. You need to be able to lead all of America. Um, so that's it for my next point. Um, more candidates, by lowering the percentage to 5%, you'll get an increase in candidates. While that may be more diversity, it'll be a waste of money because most of those candidates will be useless because if they only represent 5% of America. More candidates will mean more money is run on campaigns when that money can just be used for something else, something to better the public, such as healthcare, feeding the poor, um, animal shelters, just a few public projects, I don't know. Honestly, that money could be used much better than just campaigns that will probably just be run off and just end up not having presidential elects. Um, so some points I want to refute from my opponent is that my opponent claimed that 40% of voters are voting independent with Republican and Democratic parties at 30% each. I mean, if that's the case, then why isn't the independent party leading the polls in the election? Also, discussing the shutting down of Medicare in Florida, I just want to ask my opponent, don't the American people have the right to democracy to shut down the bill? Just that, I mean, as you're arguing about the 5% thing, it's like, it seems kind of weird that you're saying that you could they, you could just shut down a bill. They don't have it's not right for them to shut down a bill like that. Um, another point I would like to make is that the election would take longer because more candidates would mean more people that would need to be analyzed. I mean, more time be wasted on this this um campaign. This TV TVs are just gonna be like on about this candidacy twenty four seven. It'll just be kind of nightmare with all these candidates around. Um, it'll divide the American people even more. Just by having two parties, we're already pretty divided. Having more parties would only weaken us. It'll be pretty, it's something that America shouldn't do. And two parties is honestly the best solution that we have right now. The system has been working the whole time. Um, we haven't had any like seriously major flaws. And yeah, yeah. Changing the system would only drive America into more chaos. Something that we need to be able to avoid. If the candidate is truly worthy to be president of the United States, then he will get fifteen percent of votes.